Urine formation occurs in nephron and involves three steps. A. Glomerular filtration. B. Reabsorption. C. Secretion. The first step is the filtration of blood. It is carried out by the glomerulus and is called glomerular filtration. Kidneys on an average filter 1,100 to 1,200 milliliters of blood per minute, which is roughly one-fifth of the blood pumped out by each ventricle of the heart in a minute. Filtration of blood takes place through three layers, that is the endothelium of glomerular blood vessels, the epithelium of Bowman's capsule and a basement membrane between these two layers. This is caused by the glomerular capillary blood pressure. The epithelial cells of Bowman's capsule called podocytes are arranged in an intricate manner. So as to leave some minute spaces called filtration slits or slit pores. These membranes filter blood so finely that almost all the constituents or the plasma except the proteins pass on to the lumen of the Bowman's capsule. Hence it is called the ultrafiltration. Glomerular filtration rate is the amount of the filtrate formed by the kidneys per minute. GFR in a healthy individual is approximately 125 milliliters per minute i.e. 180 liters per day. The kidneys have built-in mechanisms for the regulation of glomerular filtration rate. One such efficient mechanism is carried out by juxtaglomerular apparatus, JGA. JGA is a special sensitive region formed by cellular modifications in the distal convoluted tubule and the afferent arterole at the location of their contact. The JG cells can be activated in case of a fall in GFR to release renin which can stimulate the glomerular blood flow and thereby the GFR back to normal. If the volume of the filtrate formed per day, 180 liters per day, is compared with that of the urine released, 1.5 liters, indicates that nearly 99% of the filtrate has to be reabsorbed by the renal tubules. This process is called reabsorption. It is performed either by active or passive mechanisms in the tubular epithelial cells in different segments of nephron. For example, glucose, amino acids, sodium ions, etc. In the filtrate are reabsorbed actively, whereas the nitrogenous wastes are absorbed by passive transport. Water is also reabsorbed passively in the initial segments of the nephron. Substances like hydrogen ion, potassium ion and ammonia are secreted by the tubular cells into the filtrate during urine formation. It helps in the maintenance of ionic and acid-base balance of body fluids.